This is our yellow orange section. Um, we have some mixed Amish bunches. These are locally grown flowers. Um, we get them in the summer. They're so beautiful. People love them. Paige, we're sitting in the middle of D.C., right on U Street, mm -hmm. which is the hustle and bustle, one of the main drags. Not exactly the idea usually for a green space, mm -hmm. um, but yet here we are in right. this great floral shop. How did you wind up here? I came into the shop and it was just breathtaking. I've never, as a florist, I've walked into many flower shops and I've never felt the way I felt when I walked in here. So I imagine even when you walk in on a morning, it might be cold outside, it might be too early, <laughs> and then you walk in and you, it's better than Folgers. It is. It's very inspiring. Um, every day here is a gift. When you're beginning the process, do you sort of have a concept uh, thinking, I want to have calla lilies and also, this sounds so ugly, baby's breath, <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know. When I walk through the shop, we have so much on display. Um, that's where my conception of the arrangement starts. Okay. Um, I see what we have, what is the most fresh, what looks great together. The process starts, for me, with flower food. This makes your uh, arrangements last longer. This is the kind of vase that I like to do a hand-tied style. I don't necessarily design inside the vase every stem. I design it in my hand, cut it, and place it in the vase. You don't want anything looking like it's wilting in your arrangement. I've always wanted to a company on deliveries because you get to see their faces. A lot of times people aren't even expecting it, you know. Um, and it's just such a joy to see people enjoying something that you worked hard at, you know. I definitely don't think I would still be doing this if I didn't think of it as an art. What did you imagine you'd do while you were growing up? Honestly, I thought I'd be a lawyer for the longest. Uh -huh. um, and then I actually did study to be a paralegal and had a job and an office. And I just found myself as a creative person feeling a little trapped. Mm -hmm. It can be scary to go from something that is certain, like the legal field, to something that is a little less certain, yeah. uh, like a creative field. Mm -hmm. How'd you do it? At first, I started as a sales representative, um, basically taking phone calls, taking orders, and keeping the shop tidy, you know, um, flower processing, all of that. And um, eventually, when I came in, um, my boss at the time said, you know, Bianca is pregnant and she's going to take a maternity leave. And was there's she the florist? Mm -hmm. She was head designer. So um, basically, my boss at the time, she offered me a position basically to train as a florist. Did you have a few moments when you started where you're like, this looks good? And they're like, that looks I was not good. Horrible when I started. <laughs> Absolutely horrid, and I would go home and cry every day, honestly. Really? Yes. It's, it About because, flowers? Yes, because it's a creative job, and when it's your personal work, An any extension critique of you. is, yeah, any critique is hard, especially when you're beginning. Um, when I became a florist, I hadn't even received flowers, at, at like a floral delivery ever. So imagine going from not even knowing what an arrangement should look like to here I am making arrangements. So it's been here for almost 75 years, and it's a staple in the community, not just, you know, any florist can say that they've been here through the DC riots, um, through the change of scenery here, the metro coming here, mm -hmm. um, downtown blowing up and becoming this beautiful place. What does it mean to be a, a black-owned shop? And not only a black-owned shop, but um, a black-owned floral shop. I, I have not, um, seen that very often actually probably ever it's ever. a it's a gem it's really a crown gem to have in the floral community because a lot of the times um there's a few like within the floral community it's a little more predominantly other races mm -hmm. um so having a shop that is black owned and with many black florists inside it's like i said a crown gem people want to find that little piece of nature inside their own homes and that's why they come here. People come here every week looking for plants and we advise them on their lighting situations and what plant would work best for you or you want to grow your own things, let's provide you with some soil and a little bit of knowledge. I do want to say the flowers found me, you know. Um, I was just out for a run one day and the flower shop literally called to me and four years later here I am.